two older half brothers. Uh, they're like ten and you're eleven and twelve years older than I. And uh, both of them played. Chris played some guitar, and my brother Dave played drums in a band called The Bitter End. And uh, so there was a drum kit at the house. There was other musical instruments and then I roomed with Dave he was he was going to college Chris had left home uh, via the window of my dad <laughs> actually the screen door uh, but Dave stayed at home while he went to college so he'd be away a lot and I'd just raid his record collection Black Sabbath was the one that really, I really enjoyed the most. <laughs> uh, so Black Sabbath, he had, um, shoot, he had, you know, the Beatles. He had a lot of old 45s that I would play, old, just rock and roll stuff. I'd always leave the turntable on and he'd know I'd, I'd come home and get busted because the turntable's still on. Jamie, were you playing my records? Yeah, they called me Jamie when I was a kid. <laughs> no, of course not. You know, who else could it be? Actually, I was. I had an acoustic guitar, some old Harmony uh, guitar that I'd fiddle with. You know, it was strange back then. I didn't even know. You know, well, you're actually supposed to put your fingers on the fretboard and make different notes. You know, I would just, I was just hitting it. You know. Making, you know, why don't I sound like these guys yet, you know? But, uh, yeah, that swap meet guitar, and I had a, uh, it was a Sears Silvertone. By the time I was really into music, my dad had already split. Uh, so mom was definitely supportive, uh, but also not so supportive in the, you know, you got to cut your hair to get a job. It's like, well, uh, long hair is part of music, mom, you know? I got short hair, I can't rock, you know. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> so there was a there was a bit of static going on at home around that. You know, dad had split and we needed money and you know, I didn't really want to get a job. I'd kind of show up and say I did and you know, oh I tried, you know, but they wanted me to cut my hair and I'm not doing that and uh, it was it was tough. It was it was difficult to you know, want to be like the man of the house or kind of forced to be, get a job, but also want to do what I was passionate about. My dad, he came to some of the shows and um, he was proud, but we still weren't really, you know, to level five at all, you know, whatsoever. We weren't at level five still on level one, but he was proud that I had made something out of myself, out of a passion, you know, out of some idea I had, and I was, I was made fun of all the time, you know, okay, yeah, you're a rock and roller, you're going to be on stage one day, huh, you know, total sarcasm from friends and family, and yeah, I am, <laughs> that's what I want to do, you know at that Aerosmith poster or the Led Zeppelin posters on the wall and thinking I gotta be in one of those posters when I grow up. Only when I think I'm grown up. 